half kneeling windmill. So in this position, we're using this as somewhat of a hip opener, but a thoracic spine drill as well. And I, I feel like it's a little bit easier to kind of isolate the upper extremity and really feel the hip limitations when you go to a half kneeling position compared to the traditional standing position with a windmill. So if I'm going to be um, driving the rotation to the right or having my right arm overhead, my left knee is going to be down. And then for most people, you're going to really have to open up your hip, so my foot position. So if I keep my knee and my foot perfectly in line with each other, when I go to do the windmill, I'm going to feel really locked up in my hips and I won't be able to move much in the frontal plane. So if I rotate or externally rotate my bottom leg a little bit, that kind of clears me up some space to be able to move from. I like to use kettlebells versus dumbbells because of how I can hold the weight. So we're going to go into a pressed overhead position. And then what I'm doing is I'm sinking my hips back and kind of over to my right. And I'm trying to drive my elbow to the ground. And I'm going to watch my hand in that overhead position as I do so. So the goal is to get my elbow all the way down to the ground. If you can't get your elbow to the ground and keep those shoulders stacked and drive the rotation into your torso, that's okay. Just try to get as deep as you can without compromising. The other piece is try not to compensate too much into your hips. Try not to get all the motion into your hips where you're sitting down, like heel to, um, your heel to your butt, and then trying to touch your elbow to the ground and then rotating. It's kind of a combined pattern where I'm sinking a little bit through my hips, but I'm really forcing the motion through my shoulders and my thoracic spine to be able to rotate, get that elbow to the ground, and come back to that top position.